Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new fighter showcase and today we are using Gokan Saki in the light heavyweight division. Now a few of you have requested that I use Gokan Saki but I would say that the biggest motivation for actually doing this showcase today is my buddy Romero17 who has been running around in ranked and destroying people using Gokan Saki. He has a account dedicated to using nothing but Mr. Saki. The, the account is called Defeat the Saki and this man was able to get his uh, that account to top 10 using nothing but Gokan Saki. And you need to understand why this is impressive. It's impressive because as good as Gokan Saki striking is, I mean if you take a look at his grappling, especially in the weight class where you're probably going to be running into guys like Daniel Cormier and John Jones, thank you, let's touch it up. His grappling is like an 81 and if you guys don't understand how bad that is, that is worse than CM Punk, okay? You do not want to be taken down by anyone in this weight class. So, anyways, now we are facing... Oh, he caught it. We're facing Anthony Johnson. Hopefully, this dude wants to keep it on the feet. I can't see why not. And uh, I have used Gokan Saki before. And uh, the way I like to use him is kind of use him like a sports car. Just missed with the left Unpredictable. They have started this fight off fast as possible. Keep the combinations short. And just try to run well, circles no around my opponent. I'm just going to look at everyone I face like they're a big fat truck. Like a big semi or train. And uh, just basically Tom and nice Jerry. Punch. Tom and Jerry. He's checking every single one of those. You know, he is small. Use his, the fact that he's small to your advantage. Boom, look at this. Just run circles around him. Stay elusive. Do not get into a brawl no matter what. And keep your grappling defense as tight as you possibly can. Now, you guys probably have noticed, I threw a few combinations like that one right there. He's got that beautiful lead leg kick into a rear roundhouse he's got that one as well we'll see if we can do it again to show you right there he's got that one the rear leg kick into the lead teep it's a very unique combination a lot of people don't expect he also has the double uppercut because he's rocked i'm gonna see if i can show you guys his his double uppercut combination this with the lead hand He's the only one in the game that can do it. And it's very sneaky. A nice inside leg kick. See if I can showcase that in this fight as well. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Johnson. That is very good for when the opponent makes their way on the inside. You Plus just fire that thing. Boom, boom. It is real quick. Excellent defense here. Really good. There you go. Big, big See how, how fast that was? So, if, if there are three combos you didn't know about, I just showed you. One of them being the lead leg kick into, into the rear roundhouse to the body. And then, that one, for some reason that didn't come out. And then the, uh, the rear leg kick into the lead teeth. So, if you're going to use Gokan Saki, try to find spots to use those combinations. I like... The combinations that end with the teep because it sends the opponent backwards and gives you a little, a, you know, just a little space to move around the cage, and you know you're not constantly in in the pocket exchanging, especially when you're dealing with a powerful, a powerful striker like Anthony Johnson. But yeah, man, his grappling is terrible. It's the worst in the whole entire game. Send him backwards like that. There you go. Like I said, Tom and Jerry. He also has the jab into the spin to the body. And uh, I like fighters who can, who can throw that combination because the spin to the body can be easy to read and very slow. Let's see if I can show, showcase that. But when paired with the jab, it's faster. Oh, wow, he's trying to take me down. Constantly a moving target. 
Rocks with the punch there. He's keeping his head protected here. Rocks again. See that? Faster. Definitely faster. What a leg kick. And I don't know. I, it's hard to explain. Like, you kind of have to just be relaxed when using Gokan Saki. Like, you can't be real tense. You just stay relaxed and take your time. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Take your time. Allow yourself to think things through. Don't just don't just go through the motions, throwing the same combinations you throw with everyone else. It's, he's a unique character. Try to use him like that. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Johnson. Just over two minutes. You also noticed me throwing a lot of leg kicks with uh, with Gokan. It's very important that you throw those leg kicks because he does have attack the base level four. Rocked. And we are looking for that spin, that, that, that spin to the head. What? What the fuck? How do you rock me through my block? That makes no sense. I might have to watch that back, but I am pretty, pretty sure that after I lunged, my block was up. That is also the direction you're supposed to lunge away from the overhand. He's rocked again. Now you lunge, you lunge to the outside of the overhand. I did everything perfectly right there. I have no idea why I got rocked. Twenty seconds left. That just got me a little salty right now. But it's okay. It's okay. Let's keep things clean. There you go. Go Khan Saki. And he also has that kind of body type that I was talking about in the last video. It's like, you take a look at the fighter. It's like, he is, he is six foot. He's a six foot fighter. But he nice looks shorter than six foot. You know what I mean? Like you take a look at him in there, much, and he looks way shorter than six foot. He looks to be five nine. Like when I take a look at his model, and just when you look at him in real life, he does not look six foot. Oh my bad, bro. My bad. And it's just because of his body type. You know, he's got like short features. He has a seventy three inch reach at six foot. That's short. How about that shin? So, you gotta also work with that reach, with that short Punch reach advantage. Block. Nice job. Especially if you're running. Oh shit! Oh, Rock. Especially if you're facing Gustafson. <laughs> Damn, bro. This man's chin is dead. His chin's dead. I'm not going to do a lot of fights today with Gokan. I'm going to do about two fights because uh, I do got to run. Spin. Man, I love it when you can pair that spin with the... We are in autopilot right now, people. Autopilot. Everything's flowing. Slightly deflected. Just misses there with the Rocked again. And there it is. There it is. There it is. Good shit. Good shit. Definitely, uh, definitely uh, enjoyed that one. Feel like everything just flowed just right. Remember, man, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. If you're going to use a fighter like Gokan Saki, Tom and Jerry, and keep that defense high, bro. Do not get taken down. Do not get taken down. All right, we're going to do one more fight. Hopefully, I don't run into DC, but, you know, if we do, see what happens. Hope you guys enjoy that one. I'll be right back with the last fight. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. John Jones. Four years apart, 
John Jones. But big differences in reach. Six foot four, 84 inch reach. Let's see what we can do. I guess it all depends on the kind of John Jones player that I'm facing. If I was to fight myself using John Jones, I would not win that fight. I simply would not win that fight because the way I use John Jones, a shorter fighter like Gokan Saki, I mean, you, you, you'll, you'll need to be way better. You're going to need to be a, a much better player to do work in a fight like that. All right, let's see. Touch it up. Thank you. I wonder if he's going to be the uh, knee elbow style John Jones. Right down the middle. Let's let's test him a little bit. He seems to he seems to be patient. Defensively as he blocks the shot. Yeah, look at this. He's opens with the left hand and lands flush. That one hurt. He seems patient, but I'm not sure he knows what to do with Jones, honestly. No. Neither guy really finding their range with much consistency here early. Look at the same with that punch. Well, he got his head snapped back there, Joe. The straight punch lands. Looking for that leg kick now. Again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Right now, he's just leaning right into his opponent's range. Okay, he's getting lit up here. Man, he is way Good too punch. close. He's way too close. Kick in range, buddy. Kick in range with John Jones. Do not enter the boxing range, man. Those punches are very hard. See? No, no. That's not the range, man. Unless you're gonna throw knees and elbows. Oh man, this dude is this dude is playing with fire right here. Right there. This is where you need to stay. Around there. At all times with Jones. Going to the body there with the right kick. Bro. Gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Beautiful right leg kick there. That strike will count. Crazy. Okay. Okay. I think that's what he was going for. No. Okay. Makes sense. Dude, I am not letting you take me down, dude. No, sir. Oh, nice no, sir. So that's what he was doing, Get trying to back me set. up. Okay. Come on, let's go, let's go, finish this, guys. Come on. Switching stances here. Southpaw. Southpaw. Oh, Inching, inching forward. The left hook hits home. Just out of range with the head kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Doing an excellent job blocking here. Again, going back to the well with the jab. Tags him with the left hand. Oh man, you gotta get out this pocket. This is breaking my heart. This is breaking my heart, man. Why you gotta do John Jones like this, man? Why you gotta do John Jones like this? Put some respect on that man's name and use him properly. I don't know. But man, Gokhan feels good on the feet. Definitely does. It's just when it comes to the grappling. <laughs> Here we are. Oh boy. He's definitely gonna want to start this round. Push him backwards. I kind of wish he also has a. Oh my god. I wish he had a rear teeth to the body. He doesn't. He only has the lead one. Jesus, bro, what are you doing? Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together. And oh, he's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. That was close. That was real close. Oh, very nice. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Jones gets up, but he looks wobbly, Joe. Oh, oh boy, oh, boy, oh, boy.
I don't know what that dude was doing, man. But guys, uh, don't do not don't step into the octagon and rank using John Jones like that. You gotta you gotta stay out the boxing range. You gotta stay out of that pocket. Stay out of that pocket. Kicking range. If you want to see how to use John Jones, go watch John Jones's latest fight versus Gustafson. Go watch that. Go watch it. If you want to see the kind of work you need to do from the kicking range, watch his latest fight versus Gustafson, and also try to grapple, man. It's like. I'm not sure why he didn't try more to grapple, keep kicking range, use mostly kicks, you know, those long kicks. I just, I don't know. Just, I guess, just lack of experience. But at the very least, I hope, you know, as you guys are watching this, you're learning something from it, you know. And uh, go right ahead to test out Gokan Saki. Let me know how it, uh, let me know how it plays out. I do apologize that I wasn't able to get more fights. With this man, I will definitely revisit this character, but I gotta run. I got shit to do. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was fun to make. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Stay safe. The judge is out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.